Not everyone gathered here in Washington today came to celebrate President Trump's inauguration. Protesters lined part of the parade route, and in some parts of the Capitol, there were confrontations with police. And tomorrow here in Washington, a women's march and demonstrations planned across this country. ABC's David Curley witnessed the protests firsthand. The anger reaching a boiling point in the nation's capital after President Trump took the oath of office. Police in riot gear facing off against the protesters just six blocks from the inaugural parade. Unleashing pepper spray, concussion grenades, all to disperse the crowd. They've been using pepper spray out of canisters. So you have the bulk of the protesters right here, and here's the police line right at 13th. Trash cans, and then three vehicles set on fire. Two vehicles have been ignited. The fire folks have just moved in. Many of the protesters cloaked in black with their faces covered. The protesters had filled the street with several trash cans, and now police and fire are trying to move them out of the way. Earlier in the day, self proclaimed anarchists smashed Washington storefronts with hammers. Across the country, there were other but peaceful protests in dozens of cities from Boston to Minneapolis. These people forming a human chain across the Golden Gate Bridge. And you can hear the choppers actually flying over, over us uh, tonight. David Curley joins us from Franklin Square. David, what's the scene like right now? Well, the crowd is largely dispersed, David. Just a couple of dozen still here, but police are standing their ground, standing their line with batons in hand. More than 217 protesters arrested, six police officers injured, David. David Curley with us live tonight. David, thank you.